Hello and welcome to Yuki's Anime Review. Today I'll be reviewing Hakuoki Episode 10, The Course of Bonds. It is now November 1867 and the Shinsengumi have moved location. We discover that Saito has been spying on Ito just like we thought he was doing and he finds out that Ito is planning on killing the captain of the Shinsengumi, that's Kondo-san. And so he informs Yamazaki, who's pretending to be a beggar in the streets. Upon hearing this news, the Shinsengumi decide that they need to do something about it, and they prepare to kill Ito. Yes! Nobody likes him anyway. Yamazaki brings Chizuru aside and says that if anything happens to him, he wants her to take care of the Shinsengumi. Oh boy, I think this is foreshadowing to something. I love Yamazaki, even though he is barely in the series, he is awesome. As the Shinsengumi plan their attack on Ito and the rest of his men, they wonder what they should do about Heisuke. And Hijikata says that if Heisuke resists, they will kill him. And Chizuru becomes extremely emotional about it, and Saito helps her devise a plan to bring Heisuke back to them. On the night that they're going to assassinate Ito, Kondo and Hijikata take him out, give him drinks, food, talk to him, laugh, make it so like nothing's wrong, while the rest of the Shinsengumi prepare to take down Ito and his army. Saito convinces Heisuke to come with him and there they meet up with Chizuru and Chizuru pleads and begs with him to come back to the Shinsengumi. Heisuke doesn't know what's going on but he is informed by some men who show up that the Shinsengumi has murdered Ito Sensei and Heisuke gets really upset about this and runs off, likely to join the fight. Heisuke has always been a really stubborn person and it'll take some convincing to get him back on their side, but he's definitely meant to be with the Shinsengumi. As a twist, the devils show up, Shiranui and Amagri. They bring the Choshu and the Satsuma men, because apparently now they're all getting along. Who knew? That's what happens in war. People switch sides and it sucks. So Harada and Shinpachi are outnumbered, but they're still deciding to fight. Chizuru and Heisuke show up and the devils say that they won't kill them if they give them Chizuru. She thinks about this and decides that the lives of the Shinsengumi are worth more than her own and she decides to go with them. However, she is stopped by Harada and Shinpachi and says that, you know, they're gonna fight to their deaths to protect her. And they say, hey, Heisuke, get your butt over here and fight with us. Don't be such a little bastard. And Heisuke goes, <laughs> Well, you guys are always interrupting me and making me do things, so why not? So Heisuke joins the Shinsengumi again, and they face off against the devils and their army. Heisuke is seriously injured by Amagri when he goes to attack him. The episode ends here, and honestly, it was a really good episode. It felt like only five minutes went by instead of 20. I've been really impressed with the fight scenes, the color, the character design everything. Ito was killed and they overthrew a plot to kill Kondo-san, which is really good. Soji unfortunately is growing more sick and Kaoru showed up and just passes him the water of life and is like, this will cure you. But we don't trust Kaori because she, he is a devil and we find out that Kaori is actually Chizuru's sibling, twin, and definitely has a different motive up her sleeve. But I'm figuring that Soji is definitely going to take the medicine. I'm really excited to see how the next two episodes go. I think there's going to be a big climax and then an even bigger cliffhanger at the end. So I am Yuki with Yuki Anime Review, and if you like this review, hit the subscribe button down here, and you can see my really cute face all the time. So I thank you, and have a good night. Yuki out.